So this article here is about Trump siding with Russia. Uh, well, what's new? Trump sides with Russia over Brittany Griner. Former President Donald Trump sounds like he wants WNBA player Brittany Griner to stay in a Russian prison. During a podcast appearance on the Clay Travis and Buck Sexton show, the former president voiced his opposition to the U.S. government's reported offer to swap Griner and U.S. Marine Paul Leon for Victor Boot, a convicted Russian arms trafficker. On the show, Trump's mal malign Griner as a potentially spoiled person who went to Russia loaded up with drugs, which is an exaggeration of our cannabis arrests. Brittany Griner, a two-time Olympic gold medalist and seven-time WNBA All-Star, was arrested and charged with illegal drug possession and with smuggling a significant amount of cannabis, according to the Russian government. Custom officers found vapes containing hashish oil in Griner's luggage at an airport close, close to Moscow. Griner stands little chance of freedom if her fate is left to the Russian criminal justice system, which significantly favors the prosecution. She knew you don't go in there loaded up with drugs, and she admitted it, <laughs> Trump said Friday on the show. I assume she admitted it without too much force, because it is what it is, and it certainly doesn't seem like a very good trade, does it? He's absolutely one of the worst in the world, and he's going to be given his freedom because a potentially spoiled person goes to Russia <coughs> loaded up with jaws. Trump continued, she went in there loaded up, oh, he keeps using this term loaded up, she went in there loaded up with jaws into a hostile territory where they're very vigilant about drugs. They don't like drugs, and she got caught. And now we are supposed to get her, <laughs> get her out. And she makes, you know, a lot of money. I guess we're supposed to get her out for an absolute killer and one of the biggest arms dealers in the world. Kill many Americans, kill many people. Griner has pled guilty but said she accidentally brought cannabis into Russia. Her trial is ongoing and she could face up to 10 years in prison. Although Griner, although prisoner threats with other nations are not typically favored by the U.S. government, CNN reported that the offer for Griner and Wheeling has the support of President Joe Biden. Earlier this year, Biden engaged in a successful prisoner swap with Russia for former U.S. Marine Trevor Reed. Reed has said that the Griner offer makes him cautiously optimistic that the two Americans may come home. During Wednesday's SP Awards, Steph Curry, Megan Rapinoe, and WNBA athletes Anika Ogwumik says Kyla Diggins Smith pleaded for Griner's release. We cannot stop fighting for her. Griner deserves to be free, Rapinoe added later in the ceremony. She's being held as a political prisoner, Rapinoe. Griner, like Rapinoe, is part of the LGBT. TQ community and Russia is notoriously hostile toward members of this community. Okay, so CNN initially reported the potential trade of belts for Griner and Wheelon, although the administration has not 
directly confirmed the arms deal dealer was part of the offer. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said on Thursday that so far there is no agreement on this issue of the trade, according to CNN. Bart earned the nickname the Merchant of Death for his prolific arms trading. He was captured in 2008 during a U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency sting operation in Thailand. Bob was extradited to the U.S. and charged with conspiring to kill Americans and is now serving a 25-year sentence. Since the 2016 campaign, when numerous Trump associates had ties to the Russian government, the former president has broadcast his soft spot for Russia and its president, Vladimir Putin. As recently as this year, Trump has praised Putin, calling his invasion of Ukraine <laughs> genius. So let's get back to what Trump said here. He said she went. Okay, he said she went in there, loaded up with drugs into a hostile territory where they're very vigilant about drugs. They don't like drugs, and she. Well, that's not really true because. Anybody who ever look at the uh, Olympics, like, you know, the last Olympics that we had, right? The one in Japan, and before that, um, we had one in Korea, and so forth. If you remember, the, Rus the Russians were not playing under the Russian name. They were playing under the Olympic flag. And interesting, right? You represent a country and you have to use uh, the flag of the Olympics. Why is that? Why can't you use uh, the Russian Federation flag? Why? Because the Russians are notorious for using illegal drugs. <laughs> So this is kind of like a, a rich irony because here the Russians accusing her, right, of uh, the vaping or whatever she brought in there, these cartridges, my Warner, which by the way is illegal where she lives and I guess she had a prescription for it but it's not legal in Russia. But the point is, Russia is notorious for using drugs, you know, so they can they can win. That's how they are. Remember, remember that young girl, the fifteen year old girl on the Olympics, the skater. They made a big thing about her because um, she had some kind of drug in the system, and they said it was her grandfather. She accidentally took that or what have you. I mean, who knows, you know? Why would you accidentally take your grandfather's um, job? And nothing really happened to her on. They said, well, you know, she was 15 years old and this and that, and they didn't want to do anything to her and so forth. But maybe she was like 35 years old. I would say, yeah, you know what? Um, you're 35 years old. The Olympics is every four years, so by the time you get around, you'll be 39 years old. But if you're 15 years old, <laughs> that means the next Olympic, you'll be 19 years old. You're still young. So that's why she should have been disqualified, because she has age on her side, you see. So the Russians, the Russians, um, they're notorious for that, just like when there was East Germany the country of East Germany, they were notorious too for using drugs. This was a big thing and uh, later on we found out when they became part of uh, West Germany, when they joined with West Germany, you know, to become one Germany again. Yeah. The East Germans used to always win. They were very, very good. And they were communists at the time, communist country, part of the Iron Curtain. And they used to load up their athletes with drugs during the Olympics. And the Russians 
still do it. But the Russians keep getting away because the Olympic, the Olympic um, Committee you don't want to offend Russia, I guess. So they keep being soft on them. Instead of banning them, you know, <laughs> which really should be, instead of banning Russia, they say, okay, we'll let you play, but you can't, you can't use your flag. So if you win, you can't stand up in the podium using the Russian flag. You see, that's not fair. Or using the Russian um, national anthem. So, I had to throw that in there because they're making a big deal. Like where, where Trump said she went in there loaded up with drugs in a hostile territory where they're very vigilant about drugs. They don't like drugs. That's not true. They do like drugs because they're like the number one cheat in the Olympics. And anybody who pays attention to the Olympics knows that the Russians couldn't even, you know, they couldn't even perform under their own flag. They had to use the, um, the Olympic flag. Yeah. That's how much of a cheat they are. <laughs> so, they, not, they don't really have, uh, you know, any kind of standing to be accusing anybody of using drugs.